First, though, my next guests are known for their roles in, oh, for goodness sake, so many TV hits, Line of Duty, Cold Feet, I could go on and on and on. But tonight, Neil Morrissey and Fay Ripley are teaming up in a brand new thriller, Finders Keepers. We thought the two of you could spend the day together as well. You're always promising to take Ashley detecting, so there you go. Oh, I'm sure he's got other plans. Uh, 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 no, no, not at all. No, it sounds great. Yeah, count me in. Lovely. Great. Next Saturday. Yeah. Well, Neil Morrissey. And no <laughs> there they are, and Fair Ripley joined me now. I can't believe you two haven't worked together before. No. I feel like I, I feel like you should. Yeah, yeah, we've kind of we have grown up through television together. <laughs> And we were around at the same time, yeah. so we would meet at do's and you award, feel... uh, lots of award ceremonies. You, of well, true. You feel like an old pair of slippers to me. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's right. And you're isn't my lovely? comfy jumper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how lovely. So you're a married couple. Yeah. Martin Fiennes, your character Martin Fiennes is Saxon Treasure, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, worth millions. So what do you do? It's a great dilemma, though, because you're sitting watching it going, mm, what would I do? Yes, yeah, what well, would exactly. you do? Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, I would give it back to the authorities. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just not going to say what I would do. I know, but, but it's such a good tale. Well, yes, I know, because it is. It's that dilemma. That's the yeah, first yeah, dilemma, yeah. one of many within the show. Sure. Uh, um, where, you know, you find a hoard, which is obviously worth millions, and he knows about this kind of stuff. He's a historian. He's been a detectorist for years. Finds the stuff. What do you do? That mm. dilemma. Particularly when you've got some financial problems in the family anyway. And that could help you. It's a wee bit like winning the lottery, but illegally, isn't it? Yeah. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. And how do you keep in the straight now? You've got a great cast fee. You too. Yes. But you've got loads and loads of really good familiar faces in there, which is great. Yeah, it's a, they, they did well. We were all sort of rustled mm. up and thrown yeah. in a pot. Yeah. Is, seems is to it work kind out. of based on, sort of based on a true life story? I mean, oh, you know about this. Yeah. Yeah. A wee bit. I, mean, I, I read about it actually. I sent Dan. I was reading something in uh, in a newspaper, which I then forwarded to Dan after we, after the fact, after we right. and, and knew we were going to be doing mm. about a couple of guys who found a hoard and were selling it off illegally, and of course they got nicked. Yeah, and, they did. But, I mean, the sentences were quite <laughs> quite strong. Yeah, you know, yeah. Five yeah and I guess seven they have to. It's trying to be a deterrent just yeah. in case something like this happens. Yes, well, it's possible that the... the I mean, I'm sure it wasn't the first story, the one that I sent on to Dan. Yeah. Uh, um, because, uh, you know, if he'd have read something, it's not the first time it's happened mm. when people have found a hoard and mm. decided to sell it on the mm. on the QT. Well, indeed. And like you see, it's all of these dilemmas, isn't it? You sort of wonder what you would do. Yeah. yeah. I don't like calling it a hoard. I feel it's treasure. It's buried treasure. Buried yeah, treasure. Yeah, well, this is true. That, that makes me think of pirates and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. very, there's something very romantic about buried treasure, isn't there? Yes, yes. that's why I like yeah. calling it treasure. I like well, that. I think you're right, actually. We should have <laughs> called it buried treasure instead, <laughs> yeah. instead of finders keepers. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And, it was, and it's, you know, it's worked out very well. Like I say, I can't believe you two haven't worked together when you've worked together in so many other amazing things. I mean, Line of Duty was brilliant, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. People will talk about that for a long, long time. Yeah. And Adrian and I... Dunbar owes you a pint or two. Well, listen, you know, Adrian <laughs> and I have been friends for many, many years and it's something he's still in denial about. Oh. Oh, yeah, we, we've oh. talked about this because I've revealed it before. Um, but um, we've known each other. We've been friends for um, over 40 years. You know, right. We were at drama school together. So, we, I mean, you know, his family looked after me during some of holidays and things and kept me from starving um, when we were just young, poor actors. But when I went to the audition for Line of Duty, uh, my scene as Nigel Morton, the, the sort of, you know, hapless uh, yeah. detective, um, well. was with a character called Hastings and they had someone else in there, some mm. you know, stage manager or whatever, reading those other lines. And I, I read the lines and everything and, uh, and I said, um, I, when I was leaving, um, I, I said, who's, well, who's playing? Hastings, and they said, well, we don't know, he's not cast yet. I said, have you thought of Adrian Dunbar? Oh, and you that, see how and it they works. Went, they did say, <laughs> oh, no, that's an interesting idea. It is. He, of course, denies it completely <laughs> and says they were looking for a Northern Irish detective uh, anyway, <laughs> chief inspector anyway, and that that's why he was on their radar. Right. But even if he wasn't, I'm sure I put him on the radar. I think you did. And I he has bought me a pint or two since then. I should then, think yeah. so. Sure I should hope so. And, Faye, you've got this kind of, you know, obviously you do what you do, but you've got this other career running alongside as a, as a cook. 
Because you do look. Oh. I mean, you've done it for us. You've done, I have done you know, it for you've, you. you've done great recipes for us. Mm. And something it's something that you love to do, isn't it? Anyway, I don't really think of it as a career. I suppose it is. I well, mean, it's kind I've of a love, three another lovely books. thing yes. to do. And I do write about food, and I sometimes review things. And yeah. Um, but for me, it's just I love food. Yeah. I mean, you. you know, oh. it's a plus and a minus. <laughs> Let's be absolutely oh, honest. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. But. Um, but it's sort of just, that's just part of my life. That yeah. is ingrained into my life. And sometimes I take it to work. Yes, yeah. I think you could say that. But um, it makes me so happy. People, you know, that in our all of our lines of work, people come up and they recognise you for various bits of work that you've done. But when someone mentions my lemon chicken, <gasps> they come up and they say, oh, we're cooking your lemon chicken, and the kids loved it. Does that just make Tear you Tear to the yeah. eye. That's yeah, just yeah, it. that's nice. That's, that's it. Thank you. Forget the BAFTAs. Yes. Well, forget the BAFTAs. Let's not forget <laughs> the BAFTAs. I mean, let's encourage alongside, the BAFTAs. Alongside so the alongside BAFTAs. the books. Yeah. yeah. But isn't it amazing? We were just talking, you know, earlier on the show, we were talking about the the blood scandal, which is appalling. Um, and, of oh, course, yes. that, that drama um, about the post office, how drama can change things, oh. how drama can make a difference, you know, a real difference. And this is, you know, this is sort of like government, the government's running to keep up with the drama. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Um, I, there was um, a storyline in Cold Feet that, where my character had uh, breast cancer. I and remember. I have to say, that did have, the storyline itself yeah, had yeah. a huge impact and genuinely did seem to make a difference in various areas in terms of uh, money raised, in terms of Yeah, and awareness, um, just people awareness, going to get checked out. Yeah. Or, it was a, a big shift in Very awareness. Very powerful. So it is, it's... it's, yeah, it's powerful. It's at least, at least we make some sort yeah. of difference. Well, you're, <laughs> I'm going to have everybody out with their metal detectors after watching this, trying yeah. to find, oh, trying to find hidden either treasure. That, oh <laughs> either that or we're going to be hounded by metal detectorists <laughs> who... Well, you um, are. Who, yes, <laughs> I will be, yeah, for, for, because I wasn't holding it correctly or something oh, like yeah, that or yeah. you know they didn't uh, believe the modifications <laughs> that i had done myself on my particular detective equipment it's great it's on tonight isn't it nine o'clock yep channel nine five, yeah. channel five. excellent yeah. it's a good watch it's a good it really like i said it really does make you think what you would do in their position thank you both so much thank, great you. To see no, you. thank you thank you right